So the first thing we want to do is we want to set our atomizing air pressure. This is an external mix, so we need to atomize the catalyst uh, that's coming out externally in the front of the gun. Now with the atomized catalyst, we always want to run it at the lowest possible pressure uh, to eliminate any catalyst fuming, but if we, we don't want to run it so low that it act, act, actually drips. So from experience, it's typically between 30 and 40 PSI is the normal range for your atomizing catalyst pressure. If the catalyst is colder or thicker, you might, be able to, you might have to turn it up a little higher than 30 or 40, or if the catalyst is really thin or low viscosity or warm, you might be able to run it down as low as 20 PSI. Now we're going to go through proper spray pattern calibration. And I want to do is I want to take a snapshot of the spray pattern, 18 to 24 inches uh, from the, the, the cardboard here. And uh, as you can see, we don't have a, a, a very good spray pattern defined, so we're going to go up 5 to 10 PSI in increments and take another snapshot. It's getting a little bit better in the center, still have the heavy fingers, but we don't have any air assist on yet. We're just trying to get the center of the spray pattern good. So we're going to go up another 5 to 10 PSI. That's getting a lot better. The center of the spray pattern is looking pretty good. Um, I think we're going to probably go about another 5 to 10 PSI and do another shot. Now we've got a really good spray pattern. We've got real even in the middle. We just have our fingers on the, on the edge that we're going to use our air assist containment to eliminate. Now the ball valve or the air assist valve on the back of the gun, this is just on and off. We actually want to set the pressure at the regulator at the pump. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that up in 5 to 10 PSI increments. And I'm going to take another snapshot of the spray pattern. That's getting pretty good. At, at, uh, at that PSI, I just have small fingers, just a little bit of fingers. I think we're going to give it another 5 to 10 PSI of air assist. Now we've got a really good working spray pattern. We've got no fingers on the edges and a nice even mill thickness of gel coat from edge to edge. 